A grand jury later this month will hear evidence in a case against a driver arrested for causing a hit and run crash that killed a 12 year old boy in Grand Prairie. Yahir Angel Flores was killed last month when a Mustang hit the Honda he was riding in. 21 year old Damian Torres was arrested for that crash. Investigators are still waiting on toxicology results to come back to see if he'll face even more charges. Fox 4's Rebecca Butcher spoke with the victim's family. Rebecca. Well, yeah, see that family of Yahir Angel Flores is still heartbroken after the 12 year old's death. The suspect is still here in Dallas County Jail, but their minds and their hearts are on their loved one. Nos besábamos, nos decíamos lo mucho que nos amábamos. He was a really loving kid. Um, they would always just, like hold hands or hug each other in the morning. Um, <sighs> He was really excited because he was going to be in the soccer team next year, for the school year, so he would practice all the time. The bond you hear Angel Flores had with his family is special. His sister, Sandra Gallardo, spoke on behalf of her father, who only speaks Spanish. He would always tell him that he wanted to be like his dad because my dad is a, he cooks, so he wanted to be a chef like him. Grand Prairie police say the 12 year old was fatally injured in a hit and run accident on South Beltline Road on June 21st. It has been a really difficult time for all of us because we, we remember him all the time, um, especially since the accident was close to our home. Police say 21-year-old Damian Torres was speeding in a silver Mustang when it hit a Honda sedan that was turning left from Beltline onto East Cobra Drive. Flores was riding in the front passenger seat of the Honda. His sister, Jessica Gallardo, was driving. They were just coming back from getting food when they were hit. I stopped so I could turn and I checked around if there was no cars coming or not. I didn't see no car coming, so I went, and that's when everything happened. It was shocking for me. According to Torres's arrest warrant affidavit, several witnesses told police Torres was driving erratically and going more than 90 miles per hour in the 40 mile per hour zone on Belt Line. He was going pretty fast for him to hit me that hard. Torres ran off that night. The affidavit says multiple people at the scene identified him as the suspect. At that moment, I wasn't really thinking about that because I felt really blame what happened to my brother. I wasn't really thinking about him. It was just my little brother. The suspect turned himself in to authorities the following day. He's facing four charges, including manslaughter and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, the deadly weapon being the Mustang. Grand Prairie police say they are still awaiting for a toxicology report on Torres and the medical examiner's report. He remains in the Dallas County Jail. Yahir's father rushed back from work when he heard about the accident, saying... He wants, like, young drivers to realize that Driving fast is not a smart idea because it causes pain to other families. And authorities say there is a possibility that Torres' charges could be upgraded to intoxicated manslaughter. A Dallas grand jury is set to hear two of his charges, one involving accident involving a death and also accident involving injury next Friday.